Okay guys, welcome back. Um, this is going to be another d d session. I'm also going to play some Fantasy Star. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this game, but it was very fortunate in the past. But this time I've actually written down more of a script guideline thing, so I can actually record this a little bit better and you guys can actually... You have a bit more sense of where I'm going with this. So, just so we've got a bit of backstory, we've all meeting up. Um, we all joined as a party. We fought the enemy ship, okay? And I'm going to go from there. That's all that really happened. We were sort of plotting and stuff, but then we were attacked. So we did all that stuff. And then that's when the real sort of game began. So we're going to go from there. Um, I'm also going to do some quests and stuff on this while we're doing it. So I'm going to try and talk while playing so you've got something to watch. And while I'm doing this. I'm only going to do it for about 15-20 minutes. Uh, just keep the video short for you guys. Uh, but yeah, so here we go. After the raid ship, uh, we blew up their ship. And we were really, really confused on why on earth uh, they blew up their ship. Um, this is also the Japanese version, so you will hear a lot of Japanese voices. Um, I'm going to a new area. Never been there, so... Oh, random, random area. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Right, so we're going to go here. Um, but yeah, so we were really curious why it blew up. Uh, we don't know why. We were like, generally you take an enemy ship, get it to join your side and have and that means you've then got two ships, but we blew it up and we're like, okay. So we also found out that there was a party going on, so we went to the party. Uh, we also, uh, our tech priest Sam, he um, found out that... Oh, he uh, found out that the we could upgrade our guns, and he was like, yeah, if you just pump more power into it, it shoots better, but we're like, oh, okay, okay. Um, so he wrote down the specs of how he did it, how he could actually optimise it, and he, he did pretty good, actually, to be honest. Um, so he did that, and he put it down to like a little flash drive-like thing, and um, at the party I saw the arms and ammunition guy, and I was like, hmm, hang on, if we trade that across, then that means we can use him on our side. So I was like, perfect. Went up to him, gave him a bit of information, was like, yeah, do you want this? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm quite interested in this. It's the sort of thing that I like. Um, and, right, if you guys didn't play the original Fantasy Star, a new thing that's been added in is party members. I'm just going to add a couple in, so it's a bit easier for me. I'm also playing a samurai base class, so I'm going to be using a sword a lot. But yeah, um, I don't know how badly this is going to lag. I might even just stand here and talk. Raw. Um... We'll give it a shot. But, uh, yeah. So I was introduced to him. I passed him the information that he uh, wanted. And he was. I was like, uh, when I call on your help, you're going to have to help me. He's like, yeah, sure. Not a problem. It's perfect. Right. Oh, cool. oh, wow. This is a, definitely a new area. Um, so, yeah, I was like, Look, we need your help. Will you join us? He was like, yeah, that's fine. And then I got a phone call from Marcus. I was like, okay. So that was my end of uh, the ball, essentially. Um, I couldn't help him out anymore. Um, it was all up to him then. Um, this is definitely an interesting place. Wait, I heard a creature. Oh, no, it's not. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that. Then Sam was basically, uh, he was like, okay, what do I do now? So he went off and he started to plan on how to fight his uh, tech guy. Because that was the guy that he wanted to replace. And, um, yeah, better put that buff on. Um, he was planning on how to fight his tech guy trying to figure it all out. Why isn't it? Oh, I might not have looked. Didn't watch it. Really. Um, so he was trying to figure out how to fight him. He was trying to figure out the game of logic. I've already explained that in the first video, but I'm going back because I didn't actually have an order to this. So, um, but the thing is, is he didn't want to kill the guy. Because if he killed him, he then got rid of all the guy's implants. Implants are essentially like upgrades to your body, but only tech guys can really use... Well, anyone can use them, but he just wanted that guy's stuff because it was really kind of like shiny high-tech stuff. So that's what he was looking for. Um, so he went... Um, to go figure out how he could beat the guy in a game of logic um, and stuff like that really. So he just went off and did that. So Sam was off on his own little side quest and then at the same time uh, we had Kirsty. Kirsty was trying to figure out how she could get her position as uh, Raid Lord. The Raid Lord essentially is the guy that attacks enemy ships when they attack us. So she wanted to be in control of all of the attack squads essentially. So 
She was trying to figure out how to fight her target. Her target was wearing a thing called Terminator armor. Terminator armor is essentially the one of the best armors you can get in the game. So he's sitting there trying to figure out how to get that armor. And she's like, she couldn't actually figure out a way of doing enough damage to kill him. So it's like, hmm. So, but at the same time, David wanted Terminator armor. But David is a, a sort of psycho warrior thing, which basically he uses psychic powers to attack. And he went up to the Raid Lord and went, um, I want to fight your strongest. Um, I want to be in your squad. And the only reason he said he, he wanted to fight his strongest because all he wanted was the Terminator armor from the guy. Didn't really care what he got from it, he just wanted the Terminator army. Uh, sorry about the FPS drop, but can't really solve that. Um, so, yeah, David was going on about that, trying to f get his Terminator armor. Now, uh, basically the assault leader looked at him, was thinking about, oh, you, uh, was it? he proved his worth in the previous assault, but he was just like, you're still a nobody to him. You, you're you're not even worth my effort. Ooh, what the hell's that? I've never seen. Oh no, I have fought these before. They're weak spots on the back of the neck. Um. Uh. So, Dave is trying to sit there, figure out how he can get into his squad that he wants. To, well, he wants to become my second in command. Uh. But David. Uh. Fought his basic. Uh, where was I? Yeah. The assault leader was uh trying like manning sort of. They were doing toe to toe the sort of manly dance thing and uh, David essentially turned round to him and went yeah I'll fight your strongest and if I do I get to be in your squad but basically uh, David was panicking because he didn't want the to fight the assault leader because simple reason is is the assault leader he was fused to his armor he he was one with his armor so it was like I can't really use that so let's get better Oh yeah, also uh, in this game compared to the original you've got a lot more customization. You've got your bow that has shiny skills like a gravity arrow. You also got uh, manual aiming, but yeah you've got a gravity arrow which is kinda cool. Oh, that's a fight going. Uh, and uh, but then the guy turned around and went, okay fine, you can fight my strongest. So David fought him and one shot the guy, so it, was, it wasn't even a fight. Took the uh, Terminator armor that he damaged, went off to Sam and went, yeah, fix this. So that took Sam out of the session for the rest of the week, so it was like, oh, cheers for that. Um, oh. Um, oh shoot. A little bit paralyzed. Uh, also in this game, um, it's, it's got very much Monster Hunter feel to it, so that's what they've done to change it. Um, anyway, uh, so David uh, took the guy, killed him, uh, took that guy's armour, and that meant that David then had a better bit of armour, got it upgraded, it had lightning claws, which are essentially claws fused with lightning in them, um, so it could uh, attack with them as well, so it, it, it was a hell of a lot stronger then. Um, and his personal goal was to get Terminator armor. So, personal goals are something you give to your uh, guy that's running the uh, campaign. And he, whenever you complete your personal goal, that's what you get like a uh, upgrade. Well, you get uh, like what's called influence, which is essentially your currency in the game. Uh, stunning grenades. I'm lagging a lot. Sorry about this, guys. Um, but I. I am getting a better PC soon, so it's only a couple of more weeks of putting up with this, and then we'll have much better quality things. I might even start streaming uh, stuff like this, and if you guys actually feel like watching it, I'm more than willing to stream it for you guys. Um, I'd stream this, I'd stream Final Fantasy, um, I'd stream League of Legends if any of you guys play that, and we'll have some fun with that. But anyway, um, so David uh, got his personal goal, and Kirsty then realised how she could get hers, which was basically... Um, she needed ter well. She needed power armor, which was essentially what we had um, as space marines. Well, chaos space marines. Um, so as she had figured out how to do it, all she had to do was just get the armor, essentially, which wasn't as hard as it actually sounded. All she did was wa went up to a guy that was wearing the armor and just, like, essentially took it off him. Literally just smitten him down, took the armor, and then went off to Sam again to get it repaired, so he was just like, for fuck's sake. And the problem is, is every time he has to repair things, it... it screws him over, because he's constantly having to repair. 
because then he can't do anything because he's got to spend his turn like three, four days in game uh, repairing things. Um, so that was what Sam was up to. So it, it wasn't he wasn't up to that much, but it did annoy him. Then you've got uh, so yeah, Kirsty stole the armor, did all that, and she was then ready to fight the guy. But she's still yet to do that. So because she doesn't know how to deal with the damage the guy does back without like getting too shotted. Oh wow! Well, oh, that's the mag of that one. Was, um, I'm liking this mission, but I would like it to stop lagging as much. Um, I'm also playing on a Japanese server, so the streaming of it is actually kind of hard. I need better internet, which I'm getting soon, so... I'm getting a lot to do this. It's costing me a lot, but it's worth it if you guys help me out. Oh god, what the hell is that? That looks amazing. Oh. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I will get back to the subject on hand. Um, but then we have uh... oh, sorry. Drink potion. Get back on the turret. I said, get back on the turret. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Oh, there goes that turret. There's another one! Oh, this is really cool. But yeah, the reason why Marcus called me over essentially was um, that he had found out where the uh, engine lord was. No, not the engine lord, the spy master. Oh shit. The uh, engine master. The engine ma No, the uh, spy master. The spy master is essentially the eyes and ears of the ship. And. The. Basically, if. was a lot of fun. But, um, so Sam was trying to figure out how to fight his guy. Uh, Marcus was, Marcus found the spy master. And what we found out was that the spy master wanted something called Black Blood. Sam had made some previously, so we were able to use that. And because uh, Sam had made the uh, Black Blood that we were looking for, um, for well, obviously the main guy. Oh, I've just picked all that out. I'm going to go back here and then continue talking so we can actually finish this episode off. Because uh, I'm only going to do one little bit. But, um, and Marcus essentially set up a meeting between us and that guy. And because he'd set up that meeting, it allowed us to... Yes, I'm going to just stand here for a second and finish off talking. Um, so Sam had... Uh, no, Marcus had uh, set up the meeting so that we could... Um, essentially get him on our side which allowed us to go around the ship without being sort of without everyone knowing that we were planning a rebellion against the original captain now the thing is is what we did with the ammunition master if basically that had got around then we were kind of screwed so getting all these people under our belt was kind of handy so that meant we had the spy master under our belt and we also had um, the Ordnance Master sort of leaning to our side, so that meant that we had two people on our side which allowed us to do a lot more sort of planning and stuff um, around that, and that was pretty much it that happened that week, um, and to be honest what we 
basically the overall what we got from it was being able to freely run around the ship without being not well without the captain being informed of what we're up to but we didn't find out what happened to the um other ship now I'll p be picking this up in the next episode but uh what we do know is Marcus has got his uh, new job why did you buff us uh, because Marcus got his uh, new job as the discipline captain, it allowed, well, discipline leader, it allowed him onto the bridge. Now, because he was on the bridge, it meant we had then a way of getting to the captain. This will become relevant in the next episode. But thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you stay tuned.